Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I've got a really interesting problem to do with colouring lattice points on the plane with a really, really nice solution. And this problem was inspired by the USA MTS uh, year 18 round one problem four. So I'm not really too sure on exactly what the USA MTS is. I know it stands for the USA Mathematical Talent Search, uh, but I'm not really too sure what age this problem, uh, uh, age of student this, this problem is aimed at. But I think it's a really, really interesting problem with a really nice solution. And there's actually quite a few solutions, but the one I'll show is, I think, very elegant. Anyway, what is this problem? We colour every single point in Z squared, so that's a very fancy way of saying every integer point on the XY plane, either red, green or blue. We want to prove that there are infinitely many non-overlapping uh, non rectangles with all four vertices the same colour. So I've just drawn up uh, the beginning of an example of a colouring. So I've coloured in some of the vertices here near the origin, either red, blue or green. And obviously we do this for every single vertex. So obviously it, these vertices here would all have a colour. And anyway, we want to prove that there are infinitely many non-overlapping rectangles where all four vertices are the same colour. So we can see here, for example, in this particular drawing, we've got a rectangle there where all four of the vertices are green. So let me just get rid of the rectangle so you can see they're all green. Um, so that could be an example of one rectangle that works. I'm trying to see if there are any others here. We could also have used this one. This is also this one has four red vertices or maybe this one here. That's got four green vertices. However, if we count this one, uh, obviously this is actually a square, but that's fine. It's still a type of rectangle. If we counted this one here, we would not be allowed to count this one here because, as you can see, they overlap in a region here. So we'd only be able to count one of them. Anyway, we want to prove that there are infinitely many non-overlapping non -overlapping rectangles with all four vertices the same colour. And if you want a bonus problem, do the same question, except now you have K colours. So each vertex could be coloured one of K colours. And you can think of K as a very big positive integer here. It turns out we can still uh, find infinitely many non-overlapping rectangles. Anyway, if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself. And I'm going to dive into a solution. <laughs> OK, so this solution is going to use the pigeonhole principle. What I'm going to do is start by taking a 4 by 82 collection of dots. And these can be anywhere on the plane. Uh, so each well, there's 82 rows here and in each row we've got four uh, different points. And obviously these are colored however they're already colored. And now I'm going to use the pigeonhole principle to show that there's got to be at least one rectangle in this. And in reality, there's probably going to be quite a few. But I'm going to prove that there is at least one. And since obviously there's infinitely many 4 by 82 collections of dots, all of which are non-overlapping, in each one we can find at least one rectangle. And so therefore there must be infinitely many uh, rectangles where all four vertices are the same colour. Cool. OK, how do we solve this then? Or how do we find the rectangle in this? Well, I've deliberately chosen 82 rows. And that's because 82 is one more than 81. And well, why is that of any use here? Well, this is to do with the fact that 81 is 3 to the power of 4. OK, how are we going to use this? Well, firstly, let's think about each row. Each row has four different dots in. And so what we're going to do is think about the number of different possibilities of row colorings. Well, for the first dot, there's three choices of color. It can either be red, blue or green. Same for the second dot, same for the third dot and same for the fourth dot. And so therefore, in total, there's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is 3 to the 4, which is 81 different possibilities for row colorings. OK, cool. So that basically means that because we've got 82 rows here, by the pigeonhole principle, there must be at least two rows which have the exact same coloring. So let me just go over that again. There's 81 different colorings for a particular row because there's four choices for this, this color, four for this color, four for, sorry. 3 for this colour, 3 for this colour, 3 for this colour and 3 for this colour, making 3 to the power of 4 different possibilities. And since that makes 81 and we've got 82 rows here, there must be at least two rows with the same colouring. And I've deliberately chosen this row and this row to be the same, as you can see here. Uh, so row 2 and row 80 in this instance have the same colouring. Cool. And so now we're going to choose look at those two rows which have the same colouring. 
And what are we going to do with them? We're going to notice, well, because they've got four dots in and we're only using three colors in, again, by the pigeonhole principle, there's got to be at least one color that's used twice. In this case, it's green. And now you can see how we're going to construct our rectangle. Because these two uh, colorings are exactly the same, we know that the greens are in the exact same position. And so we can just line them up. And there we go. We have our rectangle there. And so that proves by using the pigeonhole principle twice that in each collection of four by 82 squares, uh, of, uh, sorry, four by 82 rectangle of these lattice points, we must have at least one rectangle where all four vertices are the same color. And as I say, since there are infinitely many of these four by 82 collections, there must be infinitely many non overlapping rectangles where all four vertices have the same color. Now let's quickly prove the generalization, and the idea is pretty similar, although we have to tweak the size of this 4 by 82 rectangle. Okay, so now we have K colors, and we're going to do a very similar argument, but now instead of having a 4 by 82 rectangle, the number of columns we're going to have is K plus 1, so columns we're going to have K plus 1 of them, and how many rows we're going to have, well we're going to have quite a few, we're going to have K to the power of K plus 1, and then add 1. To that number and again this plus one here is going to be useful when we use the pigeonhole principle cool okay and we're going to go through the exact same argument here well we've got k to the k plus one row so if you think about one particular row well because there are k plus one columns one row would look like this well we've got a bunch of different dots here this is column one this is column two and so on all the way to up to column k plus one here and each dot has a choice of k colors and so therefore the total number of colorings is k to the power of k plus 1 for each particular row. So the number of colorings of a row is k to the k plus 1. Well, we have k to the k plus 1 plus 1 rows. So by the pigeonhole principle, there must be two rows of the same color. So those two rows have the same color. We found the two rows. Let's say, let's say again, it's row 1. Let's just say it's row 1 and row 2 uh, without loss of generality. Those two rows have the exact same color. And well now, because each row has k plus 1 dots in it, because there's k plus 1 columns, by the pigeonhole principle, since we're only using k colors, there must be at least one color that's used twice, or, or, or there must be a color that's used at least twice. And then that will be the choice. So in, in the example we had a second ago, that was green. Uh, here, we don't know what the color could be, uh, but there's going to be a color that's used twice, and that was going to form our rectangle. Um, very similar to before. Obviously, though, um, the, rec the 4 by 82 rectangle has now been increased in size. And of course, again, there are still infinitely many because K is a fixed finite number. So this is going to be a fixed finite region. You can find infinitely many of those. Hence, there are infinitely many non-overlapping rectangles of uh, where all four vertices have the same color. And that solves our problem, a really, really interesting problem with a really elegant solution. I think there's quite a few different ways you could go about solving this, but I think this is the most elegant. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you are new to the channel, please do uh, give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Have a great day.